15 minutes, we'll bring you the music of Bill Monroe and his new grass boys from WSM here in Nashville in the interest of Bill's brand new songbook. We're going to tell you all about that brand new Bill Monroe songbook in a minute. We got some good news, too, because there's no more shipping difficulties. Those books are coming right off the line now, boy, and they're on their way to all you folks who've ordered them. We're going to tell you how you can get your copy in just a moment. But right now, bringing that, get that uh, mandolin around his shoulder and stepping up to the microphone is Bill Monroe. Howdy, Bill. All right, so there, Louie. How are you feeling? All right? Yeah, man, I'm ready to go. Well, I believe the Blue Girl Stores has got in the studio here now, ready for a 15 minute program. I believe they're all here. <laughs> We're going to start with an old timer, friends, that we hope you enjoy. We had a lot of quits for And some folks business from Georgia. You want this number here? I believe Chick Strickland knows the first name. Where's Chick at? Come over here, boy. Uh, Chick's one of the Blue Girl Stores here. What's, what's the folks' name? Well, we've got Mr. and Mrs. J.W. Sherman, Mrs. Giddings, and also Mrs. Cook from down at Lakeland, Georgia. Where we have that big fish supper. The best like in the world. You can do it. So right here now, the old time is entitled The Mule Can I Do. Book offer you've been waiting for. It's a new sensational Bill Monroe songbook. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Peacock Red. <laughs> Thank you a lot. And that old time fiddling chubby does, you can't beat a chubby challenge all old time fiddlers throughout the country if they're interested. Well, <laughs> come on, Al. <laughs> well, let's see, before we start with our quartet number here, I'd like to do a little dedication here. Uh, Mrs. Maud uh, Langdon here, and uh, Mrs. Evelyn Fuller, I believe, from Macon, George, is visiting here. We're mighty glad to have them. We hope they're enjoying the program. It goes along. We'd like to send this next number up to Jack Hunt up at uh, Beckley, West Virginia. Boy, this winter was playing with us up there this past week, entertaining. Mighty fine fellow and got a fine act up there. And for a little lady, uh, Reba, uh, Reba Carroll Rose, up at Clarksburg, West Virginia. A little girl, I believe, about eight years old, wanted us to do a number for her. And I believe the Bluegrass Quartet's picked out a pretty hymn here, one we have in our new songbook entitled This Wicked Face of Sin. Friends, we hope you enjoy. <laughs> In this home of sorrow, in this week he passed and said, Never thinking of tomorrow, or what I'd lose in the end. Oh, I can hear you, oh, I can hear you, oh, 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 oh. that you're the rain for my friend, for my friend, love and pray. He's coming around the microphone with two boys that you hear from morning around 5.15 with the Bluegrass Boys Songbook Program. And they have a pretty number picked out for him titled uh, Lethal Love. Thank you very much, Jim. <laughs> Only road I'm traveling on now, where I 